Hello, another day, another video. So, I've... Actually, I don't post daily, so... Eh. Anyway, uh, I wanted to give some raw opinions on the merge that was announced in the beta servers. Uh, I think this is good news. Uh, well, I mean, good news for generally because we need mergers. Uh, how they're doing it, we'll have to really see, and I'll talk about that in this video. Uh, but it's also good information for the uh, global servers. So not just the beta, because it means that if this goes well and this comes through, well, you know, whatever, that means that the global servers are likely to see some merging going on as well, which is obviously going to uh, benefit some guilds and some servers that may be suffering because people consistently re-roll, make accounts and then leave, go to another server. And that does inflate the numbers quite a lot. And what that means is that um, a lot of servers are left with a lot of dead people. Um, dead accounts uh, with no one basically playing on them. So they sent a mail uh, to essentially uh, talk about um, you know what's going to happen, what the plans are, and what servers are going to be merged. I'm making this video. I haven't had any prep for this. I'm basically trying to go in with it raw because I really don't want to you know take maybe take too long I, I feel like give some raw opinions first ideas what i expect to potentially happen in the service uh and and sort of how it will plan out so they basically said in order to provide a better gaming experience um an environment um and to obviously make like-minded friends which i mean a lot of the people in the beta do know a lot of the other people especially those that will be searching for friends so it's not eh. um but uh yeah so we have a scheduled for tomorrow merger. There's going to be a two-hour maintenance. That's planning to merge S1 to 28 uh, in chunks. Uh, that will be S1 to 20, uh, uh, S1 to S8, S9 to S20, S21 to 25, and S26 to 28. Uh, this is maybe because of the general activity in these servers. Um, there seems to be a lot more people in S1 than, for example, S2. Uh, there also seems to be a lot more people in, you know, probably a lot more people in S26 and 28 than there are in uh, S9 to 20. I don't know how accurate this is. There are a lot of guilds in those servers, so I'm sort of interested to see how it really looks. Uh, they generally provide some information saying that accounts that basically are under level 30 have made no purchases and haven't logged on in 14 days will be deleted, meeting all three of those criteria. Names will be changed to make it easier to distinguish people. Um, generally, if if the names are the same as somebody else. Um, yeah, there's just a kind of a lot of information uh, generally just thrown around. Um, some of these things are a bit uh, questionnaires not being affected, downloading rewards will not be affected. Um, I think your friend list may clear if someone's been on, offline for a long time in their level 30, which is not going to apply to anyone in the beta, really. Um, so a lot of this information is not that useful. So the main thing I want to really concentrate on is the servers being merged and what I see happening. Um, so mergers have been a huge discussion among the um, beta servers. Basically, since I started playing the game, it's something that people were asking for. Initially, about two weeks before um, the global release, there were some hints at merging being uh, possible. And a lot of us assumed that it will be for basically the mid of September. And that didn't happen. And then uh, because the Guild Ball was initially delayed uh, for over a month um, from happening again in the beta servers, we assumed that it may be at the beginning of October. That wasn't the case. And when it comes to the sort of general idea, we thought, okay, well, now that the Guild Ball started, we're going to see a merge happening after the Guild Ball season ends, after elimination tournaments and so on. Uh, the Guild Ball basically has two two wars left, one of which is going to start in the next 24 hours and uh, will be the penultimate war before the elimination tournament. So this is a bit in a weird time frame uh, because if this does indeed merge those servers, it's going to throw the whole Guild War season out of, you know, just it's going to be horrible. Um, so as we're seeing now, um, I'm thinking that S128 will be a powerhouse. Um, the, there's a good few server. There's two servers in that list that do not have a Guild War team because they cannot meet the uh, the requirements to actually make a guild big enough to participate, um, and therefore those guilds are gonna 
you know move around those units those people uh, let's say of which there's maybe five in each one uh, s1 is a rather powerful guild with a good few big spenders but basically each one of these guilds has about five people um that would be able to come together which means that about 30 ish would be big 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 players that have been playing basically from the beginning of these servers opening up um so i'm expecting s1 to 8 it goes going to be massive uh there's a lot of guilds in s1 to uh s9 sorry to 20 um upgrade being one of the ones i'm thinking of uh being currently the number one in the guild war uh but there's also um toxic rebirth that's s9 uh there's a good few other guilds tempest i think as well s17 um, there's a lot of guilds that are up there in those numbers and I did speak, uh, generally did a count to try to figure out how many there are. So in S1 to 8, there's two guilds in the top 16 in the guild war currently. Um, S9 uh, to 20, there are nine guilds in the top 16. Uh, S1 to 25, there are six guilds in the top 16 and there's zero for, for 26 and 28. And I think that would be one of the big problems um, with this merge. Because I'm assuming once they do this merge, they're not going to touch it for a long time. Um, sort of let the thing settle in. Uh, but what's going to happen is it's S26 and 28. There's just no people there. And they're so far behind that they would be better off being moved to global, really. Uh, just released in their own little server, little bubble, um, to participate in those wars. Because they're not they're not even close to be able to fight into the top 16. Maybe one guild, I think. One of them is like maybe 19th. Uh, but that's probably the strongest guild out of all three of those servers. So I'm not thinking it's a smart idea. I think either merge S26 and 28 into the 21 to 25 bracket or somehow adjust it, potentially uh, reduce the S9 to S20 by a little bit, um, make it maybe S9 to S16 uh, and then potentially throw these guys in with them or potentially cut this off at maybe 23 and then throw us together with 26 28 because it just feels like they're going to be left out uh anyone from s26 to 28 watching the video that's uh, that's my assumption at least it's that it's, it's going to be not too different from what you're used to uh it'll be nice more people probably a 50 out of 50 guild but uh, you're going to now struggle because if you were not able to compete against these guilds now uh, you're not going to compete once the mergers happen uh, at all uh, basically those those servers will just be left in the you know dust and the other thing is that because of the lack of people my assumption is that only a few uh, guilds will actually be present and competitive um among all those servers uh, i'm thinking s1 to tw uh, to 8 you're going to have maybe two Two guilds that are actually uh, going to be packed uh, with people. Um, well, one strong, uh, and then I'm assuming probably about another one that's mid level for anyone that didn't make it. Uh, S9 to 20 is probably going to have about four guilds of really, really strong people. Uh, and S21 and 25 will have about five. There's two currently in S25 that are at the top. Uh, and then there's obviously Brotherhood as well as Bridge 4. And uh, I think New World, they're somewhere in the middle between us. I can't remember exactly, so I do apologize. But the those guilds will probably look to move units around. Uh, so if one guild breaks up, and let's say in the situation where Bridge 4 decides to split up and go to one of those two guilds or ours, uh, what's going to happen is uh, I think we're just going to lose one or two guilds in that mix and power up the others. But my assumption is that the other guilds are going to be considerably stronger because right now the only reason that some of the guilds towards the back end can beat these guilds is purely because we have activity. You remove that and one that's left is just basically complete stomps. Um, and the last thing I really wanted to talk about um, with this, it's very bad timing. Obviously, like I was saying before, it's bad timing with the guild was still ongoing. If this does come through and people can join other guilds and power up, it's going to be a complete mess because I'm assuming the elimination tournament is going to have guilds with zero people in it and there's going to be guilds with 50 out of 50 of strong units um not units people um in them the other thing i i don't really like is the fact that guild war will be boiled down to really to to really the top 16 um if i'm saying before if we're talking about two guilds then four that's six then we're talking about five that's 11 and you know whatever comes out of the other ones we're, we're talking less than 16 guilds that are likely to be around after all these mergers so guild war is really just going to be those 16 fighting each other because the rest of them are going to be either empty or barely holding on or in uh, servers that basically can't compete so uh that's my concern with this i feel like maybe the best way to do it would have been smaller brackets or targeted merging 
when you're merging S1 with uh, potentially, you know, the, the two servers that are completely dead and then merging, you know, two and three with like uh, six and seven and then merging eight and nine and 10 maybe together for another set of guilds. Uh, something like that would have been a lot more. And then obviously comparing how how strong people are in those servers as well, because there's no point saying that there's, you know, 50 people logging into S1 but they are at you know 500,000 power. Like if if a certain amount of time has passed, uh, let's say two months, and they've logged in every single day or every couple of days, and they're reaching into the millions of power, then yes, you can count them as a member of a server. But if they're just an alt account that they log into once a week, it doesn't count as a person because it, it they, they probably are playing elsewhere, and that's where their attention is. Anyway, I don't want to blurb too long. It's already been probably 12 minutes or. 10 minutes since I've started this. Uh, these are some of my initial thoughts. Um, do leave them down below. I haven't had enough time to really fully stomach this and figure out exactly how things are going to go. I'm assuming a lot of the guilds are going to communicate between each other, find out who's going where. And I'm assuming some guilds are just going to dissolve uh, or take in sort of the, the weaker unit, uh, weaker people from around and just be overall a weaker guild. We will see. I'm assuming there's going to be some people just pulled out of uh, my guild as well uh, because of this with new guilds coming up as, you know, places to join. So anyway, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you enjoyed my initial reaction to this. Uh, do comment below. Let me know if you're in beta and what you think about this. Uh, there's going to be a lot of discussion. This is basically the biggest topic for the next 24 hours, at least among the beta people. Uh, but again, this is also a way for you to take a look at exactly how the mergers may be done and some of the things that you should be potentially concerned of um, if you're in global. Anyway, take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.